What's up, people? This is Nature Girl 30 here, and this is a, my raw review, my random raw review <laughs> for May 14th. I guess I tried to be funny there, but it went horribly wrong. But anyway, the one thing I could definitely say is that Raw tonight was extremely, extremely random, and there were a lot of things that were paired up that just didn't make any sense to me. For example, the tag team match with CM Punk and Santino Morella versus Cody Rhodes and Daniel Bryan. Yeah, that was a most totally random match, and I really was not into that whole tag team match. I, I just wasn't. I tried. And I guess because Santino Morella was just an odd duck in the mix. I love Santino Morella. Don't get me wrong. I love him. It's a fact, And I love the fact that he got over so well with the crowd, especially as a U.S. champ. But he just didn't fit. I mean, honestly, he was a minnow in a, in a big giant pool of sharks. It just didn't, it just didn't fit. It was off. It was way off. And he did, I mean, don't get me wrong, the guy can wrestle. It just, he brought a lot of comic relief to it, but it was just so far too much aggression, far too much seriousness in that entire match. I'm sorry. It just didn't work. The chemistry was off for some reason. It just didn't work with me. And seeing Tante Morello in there with um, CM Punk as a, as a um, as a partner, it just it just it was so random. And I and then the three on three, the Boom and Truth, and the Funkasaurus versus Jack Swagger, Dolph Ziggler, and the Miz. I really feel bad for the Miz. The fact that the Ma the Miz has to literally fight to be on on screen. And he has to be on screen and share one with, with Jack Swagger? I mean, I, I, it was just far too much randomness going on. The biggest random moment that really stuck out in my mind was Kane versus The Big Show. Now, this was a match that I really liked. I was actually enjoying it a little bit. I really was enjoying Kane versus The Big Show. I was enjoying that match a lot and seeing where it was going to go from there. But as usual, John Lennon and I interrupted and then just flat out humiliated, disgraced, and fired the big show in the ring. What purpose did this do? Nothing. This absolutely did nothing for Kane. His match didn't even finish because John Lennon and I interrupted. Did nothing for Kane. Did nothing for John Lennon and I as being, I don't know what he's trying to be. I mean, he, sure, he's a heel. We all know this. Sure, he's like the ultimate tool in the toolbox. We know this. So what did this do for him? Nothing. So why have this? Why have this most awkwardly uncomfortable moment when we already know that this guy is a, is a total jerk? It did nothing for anybody. So I really don't know why they did this. It was stupid. Speaking of stupid, AJ and CM Punk. Yeah, talk about randomness. My... It, how did CM Punk get a, a, get entered into this? Sure, Daniel Bryan and CM Punk came from ROH. We know this. But why have AJ thrown in it? Like, what are they trying to do? Are they trying to have some kind of really messed up, jacked up love triangle? Or, I, I don't know. But the fact is that AJ, I don't know what, I, I really don't know what to say. She shouldn't have, I don't know. See how random it is? You don't have anything to say. You're like, mama, like, like, what in the world did I just see? What is going on? Like, it just didn't fit. And here's the one thing with John Lerner and I is that just did not not work with me. John Lerner and I has practically bullied everybody the entire night about making fun of his voice. And if you make fun of my voice, you got to pay the consequences. Oh, I'm John Lerner and I. If you make fun of my voice, then you're fired. I'm going to make sure, by the way, you're fired. And I mean, we're crying out loud. Not only was he pwned by John Cena in the ring, he was ridiculed by the king on commentary. And what did he do? Jack squat. He did nothing for those guys. So what does that say? It says nothing. For uh, Okay, for Vince McMahon, if Vince McMahon was made fun of or if somebody pissed him off, he could care less who you were. He didn't care less if you were, ma if you were a manager, if you were a legend where you came from, how many years you were there. If you made fun of him, then if you wanted you gone, you'll be gone. That's it. He would not hold out for you. And he would do it for the sake of business. 
John Laurinaitis, not only was he couldn't keep a straight face, he was freaking laughing during the whole last minute segment with John Cena. Yeah, what a way of saying character. Or, look, this whole night was random. It's really difficult to even have pinpoint anything, and especially the whole AW being um, um, uh, Abraham Washington sitting up in, in the skybox. Blah. I didn't really care about that either because Abraham Washington still, in my opinion, a wasted space in WWE. He should not be there anymore. He absolutely has nothing to offer, and I'm trying to be patient, but it's hard. But anyhow, the thing of it is, this whole night was far too random. It did nothing for the pay-per-view. It did nothing for the feuds. It did nothing for Johnny Ace. And it did nothing for the people involved in their matches tonight. Because the night, it was just either far too boring or far too random. I'm sorry. It's, I can't give it a D. Because I have to admit, it was entertaining to watch. I can't give it a B because nothing fit. It was like it, nothing went together. Sure, it was random. and But it was, it was the randomness just didn't work. So I can't give it a B for that reason. But I'm going to give it at least a C-. I'm going to meet it halfway. I'm going to give it a C-, minus, not only for the whole randomness of it all, but it's because the things just did not, it just didn't work. It didn't really go, the overall goal is to promote the pay-per-view. The overall goal is to promote the feuds to the, for the pay-per-view. The overall goal is to make the people in the feuds look strong for the pay-per-view. It did nothing. It did nothing for that. You have like, what, eight days to go? Nine? And still... You got this. You, you really want to pump up your pay-per-view so people can be amped up to watch it and to watch these feuds and to watch the matches go on because so far Over the Limit doesn't have anything to offer. Especially on Raw's side, it doesn't really have much to offer. That is what the whole goal for Raw is, to pump up the pay-per-view. You don't want random crap in there, even if that does seem kind of cool or kind of entertaining. You want to pump up your pay-per-view, and they did nothing for that. And it's kind of hard to rate it, but I'm giving it a C- minus for that reason. So that's my verdict, and I'm sticking to it. This is Nature Girl 30 signing off. Peace, love, later.